Hi, this is John with Sysenj Quick. Today I'm going to show you how to use Jinja templating in salt states. Jinja templates allow you to add conditional logic and variables, among other things that can be useful when designing versatile state files. The next task I'd like to accomplish in our Debian clone server is to rename the network interfaces. You can see that the network interface names on this server are WAN and LAN. I want to mirror that on our clone server. Let's go into the top file and add another state into our high state. This one will be called i3desktop.network-names. Now we can create this state in the i3desktop directory. To rename our network interfaces, we're going to use a udev rules file. So we need to set up that file on our Debian clone. Let's start by copying our current file. You can find that in etsy udev rules.d 70 network rules. So let's make a new identifier called rename network cards. We're going to use the file.manage state function. The name of the file is going to be etsy udev rules.d 70-network.rules. And for the contents, we're going to put the contents that we copied into our buffer. And we want to make sure that it is indented the same way. Otherwise, it won't all go in here. These UDEV rules rename the network interfaces based on the MAC address. But the MAC addresses of the interfaces on Debian clone won't match. Here's where Jinja comes in. We'll replace those MAC addresses with Jinja variables. To do that, we simply need to replace these with two open curly braces and put our variable inside. I'll call the first one WANMAC and the second one I'll call LANMAC. Now we need to define these variables. To use Jinja functions and conditionals, we put the string inside a block delimited by a curly brace and a percent sign. Now we can put the variables in here. To do that, we use set the name of the variable equals and whatever the variable should equal. Just like there's a grain for minion ID, there's also one for the MAC address of the interfaces. To get it, we'll use the salt function grains.get with the argument hwadder underscore interfaces and the key value enp0s3. Grains.get returns the grain with the name hwadder interfaces which is a dictionary of all the MAC addresses on the system. The key is the network card. We'll duplicate this for the other NIC. Now that we have our variables, let's try it out. We'll do sudo salt debian clone state.apply. You can see that two succeeded, we changed one. That's because all of our packages were already what they were supposed to be. So let's check that our file has the right contents. We can do sudo salt debian clone command.run cat etsy udev rules.d 70 network.rules. And you can see we do have the interfaces defined and they have different MAC addresses. So that's probably correct. We're almost done. But what will happen if we run the salt state when the NICs are already renamed? The grains dictionary won't have the EMP0S3 NIC and will give us the wrong values. So let's add some Jinja logic to test for that. So here we use a Jinja if statement to ask if the function grains.hasValue, which tells us if a grain has a value, in this case the key WAN in the dictionary hwadder underscore interfaces, if it does, then we've already renamed the interfaces and we'll need to use those MAC addresses. So we'll set the variables here equal to those values. If we have not renamed them, then we need to use the keys for the unrenamed versions. We can use else to do that, and at the end we need to make sure that we end the if statement. We'll go ahead and save that, and let's run the high state again. You can see it says succeeded were two, failed were zero and no changes have been made because this file is already in the correct state. That's the basics of Jinja. 
To learn more about using Jinja in salt states, you can go to the documentation. In the menu, go to Products, Salt OSS, Documentation, click on Documentation at the top, and search for Jinja. It will tell you some of the basics for using Jinja. Thanks for watching. See you next time.